Why don't brown pens get the love they deserve? I think more or less we all agree that black pens are understated and professional with a timeless cool. I'd like to point out though, brown pens offer some of the same benefits but are less boring. Black pens are so standard. They're a nice brown pen gives you that timeless classic cool with just enough color to not make it look like a nondescript stock image of a fountain pen. I'm joking, of course. But seriously though, brown pens are underappreciated. So I rounded up seven of them that I think deserve a look. Okay, I'm gonna come right out of the gate and be a hypocrite because the <laughs> Bennu Briolette in Luminous Amber is not professional and understated, uh, but that's exactly why it's so wonderful. Like most pens from Bennu, this pen is loud and crazy and beautiful, somehow managing to blend gold glitter with amber and cream resins into something magical. Fun fact, if you see a Bennu pen with the word luminous in the name, that means it also glows in the dark. Yep, brown, glittery, and glow in the dark. And they write well. The Edison Premier in Cappuccino. This pen is proof that a brown pen can be the best pen. Now, when we first started carrying the Edison Premier over 11 years ago, there were three original pens chosen. Satin Black, Cobalt Blue, and Cappuccino. Wanna guess which one is still being sold though? That's right. Cartridge converter filling as well as eyedropper ready with a Yovo nib. This swirly, brownie, lovely fountain pen is still being made by our friends over at the Edison Pen Company in Ohio, and they do some seriously great work. Once upon a time, Lamy made a brown all-star fountain pen. I was disappointed when it was discontinued, but very happy when Lamy introduced the LX in Maron. So now we basically have a brown all-star again, but since it's an LX, it's a more elegant version. Building on the all-star base by adding a polished metal finial in place of the plastic cap, a clip that also matches, and a special nib. The brown anodized aluminum on this pen is so good. It's not a flat brown at all. It's more of a bronze look and it brings a level of polish to a familiar body style like the All-Star in the Safari that has a great reputation for riding performance uh, with easy access to accessories and parts. It's a lobby. The Conklin All-American Brownstone takes a flecked brown acrylic and uses their best canvas for showing off material. By canvas, I mean the larger body of the All-American. It's perfect to showcase the depth of this particular material and it pairs it with black hardware. Now, even though it has a German nib from Yovo, I do think that the acrylic is the star here. Multiple tones of chocolatey, earthy goodness that you can see are all suspended at different depths. This pen, as well as the Edison I mentioned earlier, both take a number six size nib. So these pens are really easy to get your hands on a replacement nib for if you ever wanted to try a different size nib. Okay, I hope you were expecting the Pilot Custom 823. Now officially referred to as an amber pen, it, it's definitely more brown than orange and is more popular than the smoke version. So, ha! And yes, this one definitely isn't underappreciated. I know, I know but it's probably the most popular brown pen on the market today. It's also an amazing example of how brown pens look awesome with gold furniture, despite silver hardware being the more contemporary accent these days. The A23 is legitimately one of the most beloved modern fountain pens, and that's only because of its browniness. Obviously that's not true. It performs tremendously well, and it has an always fun vacuum filler and gives you a great ink capacity, but it also looks real good. How is the Sailor Kabazaiku not talked about more? Okay, so Kabazaiku is a traditional Japanese cherry bark woodworking art form, which was also used by samurai to decorate their weapons. There's a ton of hands-on craftsmanship that goes into this technique, which in this case takes the thin layer of cherry and sees it wrapped around the barrel and cap of a fountain pen. Again, accented with gold hardware that just complements it all so perfectly. I generally prefer silver trim on my pens, but not when they're brown. I think gold is just a more natural color, right? Anyway, this pen is something very, very special for sure, and you know you can count on gold sailor nibs. All right, we've covered black, gold, and brown accents, but the Visconti Medici in Rose Sovrano allows us the chance to see just how good brown can look when it's paired with rose gold. And yes, the rose gold is super gorgeous, 
but the resin of the Rose Sobrano needs a close look. Now this is dubbed Acro Silk by Visconti, and it can appear wood grain-ish at first glance, but then if you really allow yourself to get lost in it, it becomes more liquid in appearance with levels of depth and shimmer and mm. The Medici model is also beautifully faceted in both the barrel and the cap that catches light wonderfully. It has their famous double reservoir power filler, their hook safe lock capping. This is a nice pen. It's a very nice pen. Hey, thank you for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed my little browned up. <laughs> it's like a roundup, but with brown. Anyway, feel free to chat with me in the comments if you have any thoughts, suggestions, or if you just want to tell me that brown pens are the worst. If that's the case, I already forgive you. I'll have all of these pens linked down in the video's description. If you want to check out more, you can click there and head over to gouletpens.com to see more photos and learn more things. So, have fun. Right on. <laughs>